Okay guys, so hopefully at this point you've seen the after product. This is Amy from Bargain Beauty. Depending on how I edit this, I wanted to try and make a meal from food in the dumpster. And I know you guys are going to freak and think it's disgusting. And I completely understand. And it's going against all my germ phobe issues and my OCD and all of that. But I really wanted to see what I could do with dumpster dive food. So, all right, let's get right into it. I'll show you what I found. I found a green pepper, obviously has to be washed, a yellow pepper. I found a purple head of cauliflower. These I took out <clears throat> the sweet potato noodles, spaghetti style, but they're looking a little clammy. I'm not gonna lie. But I thought I could use this because I found this jar of sauce. Oops. I found this can of whole um, peeled tomatoes. I found a cup of fruit. It's sealed though. Like completely sealed. So yeah. Now all of this stuff, like it's expired. I'm not saying it's definitely expired. April 26th. A cake. But I'm hoping that I can plate it and make it in a way that you guys would never have realized that it came from a dumpster. I'm actually going to cut up the peppers and the cauliflower and put the sauce with the tomatoes in my crock pot and let it sit all day. I did find lettuce as well, like salad. Um, baby butter lettuce. When's the expiration date? May 2nd. Today is May 3rd. So I also found, and this bag was in the garbage too, I found a really ripe pear, like really ripe, an apple, a uh, red apple, a couple green apples, and a couple of cucumbers. So let's see what I can do with this. <laughs> I'm a little scooped out, I'm not going to lie, but hoping for the best. Hopefully I don't splash that all over us. And when did this one expire? April 27, 2018. So probably just because it was dented, I'm assuming. And the sauce. And I just got that on my phone, guys. That's not good. Let me get that off real quick. Alright, now I'm going to cut these up. Put some salt and pepper in here. I know that looks like a lot, but none of it was salted prior. FYI. I know that looks crazy. Don't freak. Don't freak. It's okay. It's okay. I actually need salt because I have pots. It's like the one heart condition you actually are supposed to have salt. I'm not even going to break these tomatoes up right now. I'm just going to let them kind of cook down. All right, let me cut up the peppers. Okay, I think I got to have you guys rigged up where you can see. So there were a couple little bad spots. Let me see if you can see. Oh, well, kind of. Um, there were a couple of bad spots I had to cut out. But the majority of it, they are super soft, so they're obviously overripe at this point. But that's okay. It's going to make the sauce hearty since we don't have meat. So I don't know. You know, once it gets past a certain point, don't know how much nutritional value it has, but it's definitely better than putting unhealthy stuff in your body. I can't believe of all people that I'm trying this because I'm such a germaphobe, like if you only knew. Um, 
but I really wanted to challenge myself to do this because quite honestly it could happen to me I could have to do this and you know I could absolutely I've been um, super poor before I didn't even think to dumpster dive and kind of right on the edge of it now so who knows maybe I'll like it maybe I'll save food for the landfills maybe this won't be as big of a deal maybe it's mind over matter I think it probably is it's probably a lot of mind over matter what prompted this was I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about it um, I can't remember the exact name of the channel but um, Deals by Mary told me about um, I'll link Deals by Mary's channel in the description box she's a good very good friend of mine she told me about these girls that lived off only dumpster food for a month so I was like isn't it for a month I can do it for a day you know what I'm saying Let me just wipe my hands. Paper towel. Maybe there's a couple down there. Okay, I was gonna put some cauliflower in here as well. Um, but I'll save that for a different meal. Because I think I'm full. I think my crock pot is full so I'll let this simmer down for the day let's see how we do I'll probably put maybe some I just splashed everywhere that's nice that wouldn't be me cooking if I didn't make a mess I'll let that cook down put some garlic salt in there probably maybe a little Italian seasoning and let it do its thing okay guys I'm gonna cut up this move the fruit out of the way. I'm going to cut up this cauliflower. I started to get rid of some of the outside of it. It's pretty bad. It's pretty wilted up. That's okay. Do any of you guys eat purple cauliflower? I don't really see a lot of people eat it. If you do, if you eat purple cauliflower, what is your favorite way to eat it? I would love to know, for sure, because I don't normally eat it. And actually, you can see it's old. I'm just going to cut those spots. It's messy. A lot of the times I don't eat, especially like raw cauliflower, because it's so messy. Like, I guess you could do this, which would probably make it a lot easier, right? So, let me know also if any of you would try this. Would you guys try to do this? Would you? <laughs> I don't think a lot of people are going to say yes to that. I just don't think so. I don't think so. Let me get... I have a very tiny amount of uh, counter space, guys. The kitchen itself isn't small. It's just, I think it's an average size. But counter space, nil. Let me wash this off really quickly. I'm not good at the whole filming this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm going to make a salad and it's probably going to be weird. I had um, already washed the outside of this container so don't freak. I think I'm going to say that a lot. So I think I'm going to pick through here. Actually, it's really not bad at all. A couple pieces are wilted sure perfectly edible but you know it's just that conditioning of what's pleasing to the eye 
was pleasing to the eye, right? Because we eat first with our vision and our smell, for sure, as I'm throwing things all over the place. Guys, I'm such a messy cook, but I am a good cook. I'm just a messy cook. Hopefully you guys can see, because I can't see what you're seeing. Yeah, nope. And obviously something like this takes a little more prep work because you got to kind of, you know, you got to really look at what you're, it's not just like you went and bought it off the shelf and you can just, oh, 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 gross, gross, germ, 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 phobe. It's not like you can just, you know, open it up and throw it right in. <coughs> Ooh, gotta start joking around, make myself cough. Hopefully you can see. Let me see what you can see. Oh, you can see pretty much. Pretty much. I'm sorry if this is boring, guys, but I really do want to look through it. Because see, like... Mm. But to be honest, I've bought a salad that's not expired in the store. And it's been like this. Has anybody else? I'll look at the edge of that on there. You know what I mean? Like, you ever open a salad thing and it doesn't expire for like a week? And it gets like that moisture in there and it's a little funky so not really any different than that I guess I mean I'm sure this lettuce because it's convenience packaged right and it's special it's not just iceberg I'm sure it's at least $3.99 $4.99 $5.99 depends from the store And some of this I will give to my birds. And the rest I will throw out for my nature animals outside. So none of this is going to go to waste. I will make sure of it. My birds love lettuce. It's like one of their favorite things. I tried to give him a banana the other day. They didn't really love that. Hear them in the background? It's like they know I'm talking about them. Alright, that's probably super boring. Sorry, guys. There's probably a little bit more in there, but I think that's good enough for now. Put that to the side. Yeah, that one's okay. I'm going to take... So it's definitely going to make me eat um, food I normally wouldn't eat as far as, like, flavor combination. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some purple broccoli in here. I'm gonna eat it raw. Because it didn't fit into um our crock pot. And by the time it all that all boiled like not boiled down because it's in the crock pot, but simmers down. Um it won't give this enough time to cook. And this is probably healthier if it does have any nutrient left at all in its natural form instead of being cooked. You guys should be so proud of me. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is rival to any gourmet salad in a restaurant. I wouldn't buy all these really, like, you guys are probably saying they're not high end, but for me they are. High end ingredients to put in a salad, just a salad. Usually I get bag salad at Aldi. Either $1.99 for the Caesar and it comes with dressing or. It's like 69 cents for the iceberg packet. It's actually looking kind of pretty. I'll have to Google if I can give them any of this. I don't know if that's possible. The birds, that is. Sorry if I keep going out of the screen, guys. I'm just trying to go over and throw the stuff in the garbage. You know? So I still have put it in my salad. You see? I'll move the phone up in a second. I still have a lot left. So I'll save that for sure. And then this sealed packet of fruit.
like I said, limited counter space. We're going to open this up and see what we can salvage. Now, if I wanted to do a full meal for like the whole day, this is actually, I could from just what I got at the dumpster because this is a smoothie kit. So I could blend this all up, have this for breakfast. I could have my pasta for dinner. I could have my salad for lunch. I mean, and I paid nothing. That's a meal. And I could have a piece of fruit for a snack, pear, I could have cucumbers. So don't knock it till you try it, I guess. But since it's already lunchtime, I don't think I want to make this go another day sitting in the fridge, you know. I'm going to put it in my salad. Because I'm fancy schmancy today. That needs to be gone. That little piece there. Um, remember, um, who sang that? Gwen Stefani. I'm so fancy. <sighs> Guys, I'm tired. I don't sound tired, but I'm tired. Who else, raise your hand, only sleeps about four hours a night? That's me. I'm an insomniac. Naps are the best sleep I get literally all day. No joke. Alright, what else we got in here? We have blueberries. We have apple. Okay. And don't worry, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put these back in here. I'm not going to use those. So I, I really honestly have food for a couple of days. And there was a lot in there. I just picked out what I could use because I didn't want to waste. Well, it's going in the landfill, I guess. It doesn't really matter. But I didn't want to take what I didn't need. Because I don't know. Maybe somebody else dives. Maybe somebody. It was down in the city. So maybe somebody. You know, homeless person. We do have homeless people living in the area that I got this from. So maybe they might need the food even more than me. All right, guys, let's take a look. And I have, I know, I'm going to wash my hands. I have a washing hands to do. Um, let me show you what it looks like. What my dumpster dive salad looks like. Ow, I just burned, I burned myself with a crock pot. I actually turned the phone off. So, so sorry, guys. So, um... This is what my dumpster dive salad looks like. I think it's pretty good. It doesn't look like it came from the dumpster. Do you guys think it did? I think it looks nice. I actually am not afraid to eat it. I think it's gonna be yummy. Balsamic vinegar dressing, good to go. Okay guys, I totally believe that presentation is everything. So yes, this all got all dinged up. Oh, by the way, I'm not using these. I don't like these to begin with, and I feel because they're slimy, it'll make me gag. I'm not even going to lie. So I'm just going to use a cheap box of um, shells that I got with the pasta sauce. So let me take this off, if I can. Let me wash my hands. I feel like this should be pretty easy to make look okay. Like, you know how you can tell when chocolate is, like, not super fresh? I think we're there with this. With, like, I think we're there with it. Let's just put it that way. So, I'm going to take off this end piece. So that I can get a fresh cut. Throw it in there. And... plate is in the way. Oh, my first piece was better because I didn't wipe my knife. Dang it. Look, guys. Oh, man down. So doesn't that look, you would never know they came from a garbage. I could have even taken a couple of those strawberries from that fruit cup 
and put a couple strawberries on there. If I served that to my daughter, she would never know. I don't think. Okay guys, so I cooked up my pasta. I'm gonna leave it to the side for later. I just like to get all my dishes cleaned at one time. I have such that weird OCD. The sauce is doing really well in the crock pot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that down. I'm just gonna keep letting this all cook and meld together. I did taste it guys. It has a lot of flavor. You wouldn't think, cause I didn't put a lot in here, but I think the, pe the peppers are doing a lot for it. So we're just gonna keep letting that go. And yeah, just the pasta. I actually don't mind a little sauce in there just to keep it from getting sticky. I do do that. Like if I have the sauce to the side, I'll stick the um, spoon in my actual sauce and then put it in through my pasta and it helps it not to stick. I don't know why. Maybe that's just something I think is happening, but that's what I do. So I just cooked up some really ex inexpensive shells. I didn't use the whole box. What I do with the, the pasta, because there's so much in a box, there's only two of us, I save the, those little bits all the time. And then when you have like the little bit of like cheese left in a bag, like when you make fajitas or when you make tacos, I take um, the shells and then that little bit of cheese and some butter and milk and I'll make like homemade mac and cheese just for lunch. So it's just like just enough. So that way nothing goes to waste. All right, guys, so the next time I think I turn the camera back on, it'll be when the dinner's all put together. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. I think it's an amazing meal for absolutely no money out of pocket. I mean, come on. These are all of my favorite things. I love salad. I've never eaten a salad like this before. I like Caesar salad and, like, just a plain salad mix. Um, I don't get super fancy. I'll put cheese and ham and stuff like that on it. But I don't go and put strawberries and apples and blueberries on my salads normally. But I used what was available to me. I always buy chocolate of some sort. So chocolate cake, yum. And yes, you can taste that it's a little bit, you know, it's starting to get older. Like I wouldn't put it in the fridge and use it for another week. That's for sure. Now I've actually done meals on my channel with putting peppers in instead of meat because it helps like make the pasta heartier. So that's something I would absolutely make. Now I was going to use the sweet potato spaghetti like spiral pre-packaged stuff but guys that stuff was really really mushy like i i honestly and i probably mentioned this i would have gagged and like i don't think i could have did it but i could have did it i guess technically and i could have made a whole meal out of um what i found going in a few dumpsters to get this stuff this was not all one dumpster i gotta admit it was smelly and sticky and dirty and at the dumpsters, I had to kind of move my head back a couple of times. It gets a little foul in the food dumpsters. I'm used to going in the dumpsters that just have merchandise, you know, just candles and craft stuff and, you know, that kind of stuff. The grocery dumpsters were a lot harder to stomach, like a lot harder. So I don't want to have to do this all the time. This is not something like I was like, yeah, I can't wait to do this again. Like when I go regular diving, like it's like an adrenaline rush. You can't wait to do it again. This was not something I'm like, yes, I want to do this tomorrow. Um, but now I know if I had to, I could. I could get meals out of it. I'm sure that I probably couldn't always get what I wanted. You know what I mean? Like I hand kind of pick some of the stuff and I have some fruit in the fridge I have some cauliflower left um, I have cucumbers I have like a few more things too so I actually have stuff to bring into the next day so this was a total I think success even though I used the shells and I could have used the um, well I could have guys but it was gross I couldn't do it I just couldn't do it I had my limit but for what I worked with I think I did really good I think everything is about presentation. I'm sure I said that over and over again in this video. Presentation is key. If you make something look appealing to your eye, it's so much easier to eat. So this is my dumpster dive dinner. Won't be doing it again anytime soon, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but if I had to, I would. And I'm not above it. And uh, it's just sad to see that all this food goes to waste because I'm sure a lot of food banks could um, benefit from it. I know a lot in my area do donate. 
I know they do. Um, so, so I guess even they have standards for donating, but the stuff that I found, I felt like could have been donated, I guess. I don't know. All right, have a great day, everybody. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you would try dumpster diving dinner. Try, like, would you do it? I think a lot of you wouldn't. I probably said that in this video, too. It's probably on repeat in this video. Um, because a lot of you want to dumpster dive and you're afraid to do that. So I don't know if you dumpster dive for food. This took some courage. This definitely took some courage. All right, bye-bye.